congratulations. Huge win. I feel like there's been a chip on your team's shoulder, some ranking situations coming into the tournament. How good does it feel to finally prove to the world how good Baylor Meds tennis really is? Uh, it feels great. I mean, you know, just uh, such a hard-fought battle. We have so much respect for Tennessee and, and the season that they've had winning the SEC, beating Florida, who's the number one seed in this tournament, uh, you know, on a neutral site. It was incredible. So for us to be able to drop the doubles point like that uh, in kind of heartbreaking fashion, I mean, it, I felt like it swung pretty quickly there, um, you know, to, to bounce back and, and get four, four singles wins was huge. Um, and, you know, the guys at the end, I feel like they've been – We've been doubted at the top uh, a lot this year, and so for Adrian and Matisse to kind of go neck to neck there at the end and get it done was awesome. That was insane, and you mentioned the doubles point. I was I was worried for you when that doubles point got away from you. How were you able to bounce back and gain momentum going into those singles matches? I don't know if it's good or bad that we've lost a doubles point. I think now nine times, um, and so you know we've we've lost a lot a lot of doubles points and come back and won. You know we really struggled at the beginning of the year in doubles. Um, you know we were we were losing doubles points, coming back and winning four one over and over again. Um, you know, and so honestly, I feel like we're used to it. Uh, and one of the things we say when we win the doubles point is one zero down, one zero down. You know, let's focus, get back. So it's kind of a comfortable position for us. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, you know, we're very comfortable there, and it worked out. Yeah. And you know, I thought it was an exciting matchup. Tennessee as a team, uh, more of an all court transitional playing style, and your team's full of aggressive baseliners. Are you happy with how your team played today? I'm really happy with how they played. I mean, this is one of the loudest teams. We've played this year energy on and off the court fantastic I mean they, they do such a great job of, of attacking you and they cut down you know they, they just don't make a lot of errors they don't beat themselves very often and so I was really proud to see our guys attack and finish you know Nick had a deuce point at five four uh you know and went for it you know and and honestly Adrian went for it at, at five three and missed um Matias had his match point and went for it and, and won and, and that's what we talked about you know I want our guys to to be able to attack and finish and really go for their shots. I mean, that's how we got here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna continue to do that. And they ended up paying off. Um, you know, it's been an ongoing theme this tournament, Big 12 versus the SEC, which is the stronger conference. Do you feel like this win finally proves that the Big 12's got it? Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, I would think so. I mean, if you just look at you know the the body of work you know that the Big 12 has had this year, it's just incredible. Even the three teams that didn't make it to the round of 16 are, are really talented groups. So I think you know we kind of showed that. Uh, you know, national indoors, um, you know, but to, to be here in the semis and to make it to the final uh, and have Texas on the other side, yeah, I mean, I, I, there's no doubt in my mind we play some good tennis in the Big 12. So you certainly do in the NCAA championships. Is there anything left to tell your team before this finals match? I think, you know, we're just going to empty the tank. You know, we're going to love each other for one more day, um, you know, and just leave it all out there and enjoy the journey. So this is what we came here for, and so we're just going to have a lot of fun. Congratulations, Coach. We can't wait to watch. Best